got to do all these chores. We're going to go to the chickens, check out Funny Bunny, check out Ruby, you can hear in the background. Um, then we're going to go to the north yard, and we're going to find out and see what's back there. Coons, raccoons, uh, possums, or deer. So, let's right, get to it. going to Ruby pen over here. You cold? Watch out! Got my thumbs up. Watch out there, Hi, Ruby. Hi. Whoa. You've got some long nails, don't you? Hi. Oh, look at those big ears. Look at look those big ears. Look at that, Ruby. She smells. She smells the fish and the blood on my boots. treat bin here. There's one tasty treat right there. Oh, you sit. Oh, you sit. You don't have to sit. You're right here. Hey, all right, guys, we're walking out here. Uh, one thing that I want to point out, though, is right now, even though it's, like, super cold, these gloves are way too big, uh, as you can see. But uh, these animals are still out. As you can see, she's been running around. You can see this thick path she's got here. She's been running around, uh, so that just goes to show that even when it's still cold, you have to keep stuff out because they will still be outside. So next favorite part, let's head over to Little right, Funny guys, Bunny. We got the box box scratch here, but let's make an important stop to Little Funny Bunny. Make sure that her water's not frozen. Check out her. See, look, her. Do you see this right here? Her water is frozen, so I gotta stick my hand in there. Hi, little funny. You stay in there. This, she can't drink any water. It's frozen, so hey, funny bunny, watch out. Scoot back. Scoot back, pumpkin. Just gonna shut down for a minute. You can break it open. See, she can't drink anything. So we're gonna have to go get water for her. Um, she needs some water. She's good on pellets. This is her little stick here she chews on. She's got a little hutch back there, but actually we're thinking there's two things we might do. We might open this up right here so she's got this whole pen, or we might, in here, or we might get another rabbit and put it in here. Most likely end up buying another rabbit. Let's go to the back of the cage. I'll show you guys what's back there. So, you, you head back. I can open up. So back here is this is Funny Bunny's. This is her home where she likes to chill. Oh, there she is. Hi, baby. See, so you, you've got a heated blanket down here, and then she's she, no, don't move that. There's a heated blanket. But right here, back here is her little burrow. So she lay, she lays back here because the cold air comes in through there. So she lays back here. That's where she sleeps. And if you shut this over here this is the other rabbits which I think we're gonna get another rabbit good grief this one hasn't been open for a while so another rabbit would just go back in there which there's gotta do some work in that one um, but as you can tell a nice cage it's got a nice roofing um, there you close nothing up so there's funny bunny hey what are you doing Rick whoa I almost slipped on that ice so there's Funny Bunny in there. Um, I'm gonna go grab some water for her. And then we also need to go back to the Ruby and check her water, we didn't check that. So we'll see you guys here, and then we'll go back to the Ruby, then hit the chickens. And then right, back guys, there. guys, um, going solo mission for a minute. We got the water, it is in a milk jug. Just reusing, save the turtles. Although I don't like electric cars. Um, okay, so here we go. Going out to Funny Bunny with the water. You just want to make sure your animals have water because when it's an animal like Funny Bunny here, she's got food at all times. 
She also needs to have water at all times, so here we go. I'm gonna set you guys up right here. So I can do this. Here we go. Right here's Funny Bunny's bowl. Just gonna take the cap off the hill or the water. Fill up your water. Don't use cold water, else it'll freeze quicker. You wanna use this warmer water, not hot water, but warm water. And don't fill it to the top. Here you go, Funny Bunny. Hey, baby. I know you like chewing on wood, huh? Okay, scoot back, baby. Watch out. Hey, watch out. Hey, Rick. Get back. Hey, excuse me. Oh, see how she just got She was so thirsty. Dude, she's so thirsty. See, she hadn't drank for a while because it froze up last night. And it's evening today. She hasn't drank for a very long time. So, it's very important when you own animals like me. For new on animals like Jude, always, always, always need to uh, keep walking over here to the chickens. Uh, I was here in Chick Fil Bay, hollering over here. So set this right here. Try to keep them outside a little bit. There's devious Chick Fil A. <laughs> hey, shut up, Chick Fil A. We're just gonna open up this gate and eat it. <laughs> no, you guys can't come out. Here, have some scratch. <laughs> Rowdy chickens, I guess. There you go, chickens. Chick-fil-A. He's one heck of a troublemaker. Yesterday, Jude couldn't film. Um, he couldn't film doing the chickens. Look, Funny Bunny's still changing over there. Um, he couldn't film the chickens. Because that stupid chicken was flocking so much. We're gonna run inside and check their water. Check their water and the eggs. Oh, it stinks in here. All right, we got three eggs, and I saw one in here, two in here, and like three outside. Um, yeah, so there's like one in here, three outside. We're gonna get some water to the chickens. It's a two-man job to get the water in the water. Um, we'll see you guys at the north. Here out here checking tracks, because we're actually about to get 10 inches of snow here in Ohio. So um, we're gonna go out here check the traps or tracks. We used to check in traps, not tracks. Um, we're gonna go out here check the tracks because you might get a little cold up in here pretty soon. Uh, those were cat tracks up there. These are cat tracks. We're gonna walk down here to where usually the activity is, right down yonder somewhere. Uh, so yeah, we're walking right now. Right here, we've got our first set of tracks, and these right here. Those are, I believe, cat tracks. So Jude was saying how they've got a small little, um, they've got a small cat running around here. That's probably him meandering down yonder somewhere. We're gonna run over here, see what other tracks we've got. The main deer tracks are out in here. So these are still cat tracks. As you can tell, we've got a good, probably three to five inches right now. We're about to get 10 on top of that. So, should be pretty fun. Um, as we're meandering down here though, I'm seeing all of these, and those don't look like cat tracks that much. Those look a lot more like a, um, it's either a small, it's either a big cat or something else, but it does look like they meander over to that house. So, don't know about those shows. Okay guys, going up into the bushes here. Uh, this is where a lot of cats live. <laughs> and um, there's rabbits that live up in here. So this is our trail that goes in. Wow, the snow's getting a lot thicker. Yeah, <laughs> it's getting way deeper. So up in here, it looks like we've got a set of tracks that's about two days old here. 
and I can tell by if you look down right here you've got a tiny piece of ice here and a piece of ice there that means that it's over a day old so I'm guessing these are two nights ago when we had a big frost or a big cold front come through these do look like small tracks but I believe this is a small doe walking right out to that bean field because this as you can see right here a cat track is kind of a paw print this is an inward this is a deer hoof this is a cat track this is looks like a lot like a deer hoof right here I'm going in and it just walks about the same length as a small deer would a big deer would have bigger tracks that would stay for longer there's our first set of tracks looks like a small doe yearling walking through out to get it some beans let's move up there's another set right here it makes sense that there's tracks here because in the summer this is where the deer love to bed down yeah so, tall so you guys might be seeing a um, a catch clean cook here with something so we'll see about that um so right here we've got another set these look like small doe too these are older because there's snow right here it's pretty deep actually so right here is the deer track there's another set uh, these are all deer right here. All these are deer. Let's go up to that edge and see if we can't see some bigger track of coyotes at night. Sometimes they'll cruise this edge. Um, so we're going to walk into this do look like coyote tracks right here moving in a little bit that's a very old coyote track but we're actually going to go check on our old pond over here our little koi pond that every fish dies who's also good ice skating right who's like right around in here somewhere right Okay, Jude found it. <laughs> uh, here's the old, yep, this is it. It's pretty old. In the springtime, it would fill up with, last spring, it was really deep. Uh, there was a lot of water. Here's a wall. It keeps going out here. This is the old pond. Uh, we had some baby minnows that we catch out of here and go bass fishing in my pond about, like, 20, 30 minutes that way. We live in the middle of nowhere. Um, but this, this is the old pond. We kept minnows in here, then we put them in a live well, like in my boat's live well, and we take them down to my house. Um, but yeah, this is the old pond. Some, a lot of times it's in the spring, fun to play in. Uh, it's just like real small. It's only like this out in here. Then I think it comes back to like right here. So that's the small pond. It it ices over some. It ices over in the winter after a spring. So yeah. So that's kind of the pond. So I think we're gonna wrap up this video right now. Um, all good, beautiful field. So we're gonna wrap up this video. So thank you guys so much for watching another episode of What's Up in the Woods. We do have a lot more episodes coming at you in 2021. We're here. It's alive. And it's time to set sail and make some new videos. Thank you for watching. We thought we were ending the video. We were walking back to the house. Maybe shut up. Trying to do an outro. Okay, so we were walking back to the house and we found these bobcat tracks that lead right here. They go all the way back there and they lead, I'm surprised, they lead right through Ruby's house. No deer would ever be able to make it under all that stuff. That and he received his marks. He walks super close to each other. He doesn't have a long stride. That's definitely a bobcat. Cruising through. I've never seen a bobcat in his house. That's really cool. We'll have some deer. I'm gonna put a trail cam on that tree, that tree, and this tree right here. We'll be watching. And someday we'll be able to show you guys the footage that we get. But before we outro this video, I have a very exciting thing. We have four videos coming at you in the next two days. We've got two videos airing tonight. It's almost nighttime. We've got two videos airing tomorrow afternoon. Thank you guys for watching What's Up In The Woods.